the channel my name is lauren if you're new here and this is life with lauren taylor and i have a special guest who is clearly occupied right now with something else so yes i got a puppy about a month ago he is a f1b red capapoo i actually got him from a breeder in millersburg ohio he is as you can see full of energy very rambunctious and just overall, my best friend, say hi Chino. His name is Chino Reese, Reese being his middle name. And uh, if you know me, then you know that I have been wanting a dog for a very, very, very long time. So getting this dog was long overdue, but he came at the perfect time and he just brings so much joy and happiness to my life. So. I am very, very grateful for him. So now I'm gonna let you guys just like see a few clips of him when I went to go pick him up and um, his first vet appointment, first grooming appointment that he actually got today. So I'm trying to buy you money. Hi, baby. Um, so you're gonna see all of that good stuff. I'll add in photos, cause it has been a month. He's gained about three pounds since I picked him up from the breeder. I actually got him on November 5th. Today is the, it's December 6th. So one day past a month and uh, he's just so cute. Are you trying to get to your toy? So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next week. Say bye Chino, say bye Chichi, say bye baby. Here, give me this real quick, give me this, give me this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren. It's been a while and this is Life with Lauren Taylor. Today I have some crazy news. I'm getting a dog. Still can't believe it. Really don't even know how I got here. I'm gonna be completely real with y'all. I have no idea. But um, I'm about to be on my way. It's a three hour drive from where I live. And he is an F1B Cavapoo puppy. So Cavalier in a poodle mix. He's so stinking cute. Um, usually you go pick up puppies at around eight weeks, but he's a tad bit older. So he's 11 weeks going on 12. So he's gonna be a little bit bigger. I think right now he's about seven pounds. Um, he has two sisters left that are there with him and they are around like five to six pounds, which is normal, but y'all, I'm so grateful. I'm so blessed. I'm just so excited to take on this responsibility because I know it's going to be a big responsibility. So I'm super excited. Um, I owe it to myself. I have to prove it to myself that I can do this, and I am. And I can't wait for you all to meet him. You guys are gonna love him just as much as I do. Um, and I'm super excited to have him in all my vlogs moving forward. So I will see you guys when I get in the car. So real quick, y'all, I'm literally this extra of a dog mom, like, I need the carrier and everything. But let me show you what I packed in his little go home bag. So we got a couple chew toys that I got from Amazon and I'll make sure that I link all of this in the description box below. Um, Of course we have to match. This may be too small for him. I'm not sure, but we have matching puppies. So this is mine here. I'm not gonna wear it for the car ride. And then this is his because I'm an extra mom. Duh. Like these aren't essential items at all, okay? But we're getting to those. He has a hat because I don't want my baby's head to be cold. We have a little portable water and food bowl. He might get hungry. We have his harness and leash, super cute. I love the color. And then we have a blanket for when he sits on my lap. So I'm just bringing essential items. I'm sure the breeder will be sending him home with some other things as well, such as food and 
different vitamins that she's had him on since he's been born. But that is all I'm bringing. Um, I'm also going to bring his bed as well. <sighs> Just so if he wants to sit in the back seat and get all cozy or sit at my feet. Whatever he wants, I'm cool with. It's his world today, and I'm just living in it. So, I will see you guys when I get on the road. I got the puppy and has it been a few days okay he is back here living his best life he's having a hard time this morning say hi baby say hi so but he is doing well he's such a sweet boy he's such a sweet boy I'll go in depth once I get home on like his temperament, personality, things of that nature. But um, just know I don't get any sleep at all. I don't know if you guys can see these bags under my eyes. But I don't sleep and I'm okay with it. This is what comes with having a new puppy in the home. You just gotta make it do what it do. So that's what we're doing. We're actually going to a book club meeting that we got invited to last week. Um, by some of the ladies that I play tennis with every week and so they're about to meet them and I'll vlog a little bit of that as well so we'll see y'all in a minute good morning you guys we are going to Chino's first vet appointment and he has no idea. What's ahead? He has no clue and that's okay because he has his mom here with him and I'm going to take good care of him. Also, let's not talk about how crusty dusty I look. It is 8 a.m. in the morning. We've been up since about 6.30. We're just gonna act like, y'all, this is his favorite thing to do. Sometimes I have to drive like this. But how can I say no to this face? You know, like, it's either my safety or have him stay up here. Say hi, Gino. So yeah, we're literally going up the street. We will be there in less than one minute so i'm gonna let him stay up here for the sake of that mm -mm. he's so cute we will see you guys at the vet well actually i'm not sure if i can vlog in there but we will see you guys afterwards if i can't vlog in there hello guys we are back in the car because we always are in the car doing something, going somewhere. But Chino and I, we just went on a walk on this beautiful, chilly Sunday evening. It is about 4.06 where we are at right now. And today I realized that he struggles walking outside with a lot of people. Um, he barks at other dogs. He's a barker for sure. For sure. And that's something I'm definitely getting adjusted to. Um, you know, I mean, you have dogs that bark, you have some that don't. I ended up getting the one that does and does very often. He barks very, very often, but, uh, we struggled on our walk today. Um, he's still a puppy, so it's going to take some getting used to. He is terrified of the cars, um, scared of the people as well. But we did have a couple people come up to us wanting to pet him, so I allowed them to. 
but um, we definitely have a few things to work on. The jumping, um, the, the friendly little bites, all of that, he needs to be trained on for sure. So I just, um, one thing I'm learning is that I just need to spend a little bit more time training him on certain things, like different commands such as down, sit, uh, when we're walking, making sure he's not pulling on me. We got a lot of things to work on, but I have more than enough faith in this dog. He is extremely smart. Um, obviously, we're still in the very early puppy stages, and we will be probably until he is about a year old. So, And now he is up here knocked out because after doing the absolute most on our walk, the boy is tired, as he should be okay and so is mom i'm exhausted but i'm about to go to starbucks and get myself a little drink to relax myself i'm gonna go home do some laundry get ready for tomorrow's work day and um hopefully he relaxes for the rest of the night <laughs> so we'll see you guys when we get to starbucks though because I think he's gonna get rewarded with the pup cup. I'm not sure why exactly. Because he caused some chaos out here today on this walk. But he deserves it. And you know, I have a hard time telling him no. So he gonna get a pup cup. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> 